For today's yarn, I am going to be using Red Heart with Love. And you will need two skeins of yarn if you are making it for a large dog. If you are making it for a extra large size dog, you will need three skeins of um, yarn of whatever color that you want to use. This is a medium four worsted weight yarn. And for today's tutorial, I am using a uh, berry red color. And for today's hook, I will be using a J10 6 millimeter crochet hook. For the extra large size dog sweater, you want to use a K10 and a half 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. To begin, you want to start with a slip knot. Chain 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and you now want to continue in the same fashion until you reach 70 chains. I have 70 chains now, and what you want to do is straighten out your chain before slip stitching so your work doesn't twist. And then what you want to do now is after your chain has straightened out, you're going to slip stitch the very first chain and the last stitch together and we have created a circle and we are now going to be working in the round this is considered round one and for round one we are going to chain up to one and two and this is going to count as our very first double crochet you can chain up three if you want, but I chose to chain up two. Now I'm going to put one double crochet all the way around into each and every stitch. So there's our first stitch and this is our second. There's our third. And here is our fourth. And I just wanted to um, also point out that, as you can see, I am uh, crocheting over the tail. So we don't have to um, weave in any ends when we are finished with our sweater. you're going to continue in the same fashion putting one double crochet around the whole entire ring and at the end of this round you will have 70 stitches okay so I've come to the end of the round and this is what your work should look like and I have already slip stitched to the top of the chain three that we made in the beginning okay for round two we are going to chain up three and that is going to count as a back post double crochet. Now into the very next stitch we are going to go in with a front post double crochet. Into the very next stitch after we want to do a back post double crochet. Into the next stitch after, we will do a front post double crochet. And into the stitch after that, we want to do a back post double crochet. Now this is going to be our repeat here and throughout and we are going to repeat this until the end of round five. I will be back when I come to the end of round five to show you what to do next. I've come to the end of round five and this is what your work should be looking like so far. And it's very stretchy. I really love this stitch so far. We are now going to start working on round six and we are going to chain up three. Now we are going to be increasing 
and this is going to count as a back post double crochet. So what we are going to be doing is putting a front post double crochet into this next stitch like we normally would. And over this stitch we are going to repeat another front post double crochet over that. So that's an increase right there because we have two front post double crochets right there. Into this next stitch we will do a back post double crochet. Into the very next stitch you're going to repeat that and put two front post double crochets. So there's one and there's two. Into the very next stitch after we'll just work a back post double crochet once only like we normally would. And then into the next stitch repeat what we did before putting two front post double crochets over that front post. So this is what our work is looking like so far and we are going to repeat this all the way around for round six and into the next stitch we'll do a back post double crochet and then repeat two front post double crochets over that stitch. Okay, so um, I'm going to repeat this all the way around and as soon as I come to the end I will come back on camera and we will continue. Okay, so I've come to the end of round six where we have increased and at the end we will have 105 stitches all the way around. We are now going to be working on round seven and for round seven we want to start off with a chain three and we are just going to put one double crochet all the way around and we want to even out our increases so make sure that you are working into those increases that we had made so where the two front post double crochets make sure that you are getting into those stitches as well So you want to continue working one double crochet all the way around until the end of the round of round 7. You will have 105 double crochets all the way around. I have come to the end of round 7 and I am now moving on to round 8. Now we are going to continue just putting one double crochet all the way around until the end of round 16 really simple and easy and then after that we will be working on the armholes after so I'm going to continue this also off camera so I'm going to continue working the remaining um, rounds from round 8 which we are currently on all the way to the end of round 16 for round 17 we are going to start working on the armholes and to begin round 17 you want to chain up three and we want to put one double crochet into the next five stitches and we're going to have a total of six so the chain three counts as a double crochet so there's one and two and there's three four Five, and there is round six <coughs> and there is stitch number six so we have six double crochets right here we now want to chain up 13 so after we have chained 13 we are going to skip 12 stitches beginning right after this chain up so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I'm just going to yarn over my hook and I'm going to join to that thirteenth stitch with a double crochet. 
So just double check your work to make sure you have skipped 12 stitches and join to the 13th stitch. We now want to put one double crochet into the next 66 stitches. And then after we get to the 66th stitch, what we're going to do after is make our second armhole for the dog sweater. Okay, so I have come to the 66th stitch right here where we are going to be creating our second um, arm sleeve. And we again want to repeat what we did on the other side and we are going to chain up 13 yarn over and then you are going to again skip 12 stitches across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then we will join to the 13th double crochet and there is our second arm sleeve for our dog sweater so in the end you will have seven stitches left after you join to that 13 stitch we'll have one two three four five six seven stitches at the end in total we'll have eight across because of this double crochet right there and now what we want to do is close this round with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three for round 18 we are just going to chain up three and we're just going to put one double crochet all the way around and then when we get to this um, what I refer to as the chain bridge we have to work across into the actual stitches by putting one double crochet and you will have 13 double crochets across the chain bridge and now what we want to do is just put one double crochet into the next 66 stitches and we are just going to work in this fashion even when you get to the second arm sleeve on this side right here you will repeat the same thing putting one double crochet into each and every chain for a total of 13 across and then work into the remaining stitches after so I'm going to complete this off camera and I will come back to join you as soon as I come to the end okay so we've come to the end of round 18 and I just quickly wanted to show you guys what my work is looking like so far. So what we are going to do is continue to work in this fashion. Just putting one double crochet all the way around and of course starting with our chain 3 in the beginning. And then slip stitching to the top of the chain 3 when we come to the end. Um, we are going to be moving on to round 19. And you will continue repeating round 18 so as soon as I get done doing my rounds I will come back on camera and I will show you guys what to do next okay so we have finished off on round 38 and what we went ahead and did was marked our stitch markers now to figure out where to place your stitch markers right here is the chain 3 and what you want to do is count to the left of the um, chain 3 and you're going to count 24 stitches from the chain 3 so you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So here's 24 and right next to it is the 25th stitch. You're going to count that and you're going to mark your first stitch there. So that will be our first stitch marker and that is where we will be joining to begin our rows. To the right of the chain 3 you will be counting 1, 2, 3, 
four and five stitches to the right of that. And I'm just going to remove my stitch marker, place my hook through there, and I'm going to take my yarn, then I'm going to take my yarn and weave that through, and I'm just going to tie a little knot. And you guys can join however you guys want to uh, join. Use your favorite joining method. I'm going to chain up three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to put one double crochet across. So you want to keep working one double crochet across until you reach the second stitch marker. When you get to the end, you will have a total of 78 double crochets around. I have came to the very last stitch. This is the 78th stitch. Now what we're going to do is turn our work and we're going to slip stitch into the second stitch because the 78th stitch cannot stay here because of the fact that the stitches that we will be working need to be an odd number. So I'm going to slip stitch and then bypass that stitch. I'm going to chain three. This will count as a double crochet and we are going to put one double crochet across back to the other side where we have started previously and this is what we are going to continue to do from row 2 all the way until the end of row 7. I've come to the end of row 2 and the last stitches are chain 3 and we want to put a double crochet into that very last stitch just like that and we have a total of 77 double crochets across we now want to chain up three and we want to turn our work working right side again we now want to skip this next stitch and then put one double crochet into the next stitch and then work one double crochet across until we reach the other side and we will no longer be skipping any stitches you will just work into the very last stitch in the end and then chain up three and then turn your work and then work um, back over here on this side so we want to continue working these rows until the end of row seven Okay, so we've come to the end of um, row 7, and we are now moving on to row 8. And for row 8, we are going to be um, pretty much copying what we did around here where the neck is for the back of the sweater. So to begin, you want to chain up 3. And because we are working wrong side facing, we are going to be pretty much... Um, working opposite stitches to mimic so then that way they um, show up on this side where the right side is so the chain three will count as a back post double crochet so into the very next stitch you want to put a front post double crochet actually it's going to be a back post double crochet so you'll work a back post double crochet Whoops. This can be kind of hard to do when it's like the beginning stitch. So if you look on the other side, it'll stick out and that is a front post double crochet. Into the very next stitch, we'll work a front post double crochet. And then if you look on the other side, it's actually a back post double crochet. Into the very next stitch, we'll work a back post double crochet. 
And so the next stitch after will work a front post double crochet. So you are pretty much alternating a back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet. And then when it comes time to um, end this row, you will end with a double crochet. So that's actually a back post double crochet, although we did a front post double crochet. And into the next stitch, we'll work a back post double crochet. So you can just turn your work and you can see how it's actually coming out. So we are going to continue alternating a um, front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet across and then end with a double crochet. So I will be back as soon as I come to the end and I can tell you guys what to do next. And this is what your work will start looking like. It's starting to look just like this. And I am at the very last stitch. There's a chain three right here. One, two, three. And that is where we want to work into and put our last double crochet. Now we're going to chain up three. To move on to row nine, you are going to skip the very first stitch because this counts as a double crochet. So into the next stitch, you are going to put a front post double crochet. Into the next stitch, you'll work a back post double crochet. Into the next stitch after, you'll work a front post double crochet. Into the next stitch after, you'll work a back post double crochet. And if this is moving too fast for you guys, you guys always can follow along with the pattern that is um, free for download. And you can find that link into the description box. So um, you are alternating um, putting a back post double crochet and then a front post double crochet. And then when you it comes time for the um, odd rows, you have to work the opposite stitch like we did um, on row 8. So there's a back post double crochet and into the next stitch you'll work a front post double crochet. And then to the next stitch after, a back post double crochet. And to the next stitch after, front post double crochet. Okay? So that is how that is supposed to be looking. We're going to continue alternating um, a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet until we reach the end. Okay, so I've come to the end of row 9. And we are just going to repeat this two more times for two more rows. Um, so we will come back to the end of row 11. And for row 10, you are going to alternate row 8, where we are working backwards. And then um, row 11, we will be working um, row 9, where we have worked the right way. So I am going to continue this. And as soon as I come to the end, I will um, come back on camera. And then we will start... Um, evening out our work and single crocheting around the sweater. So continue that and I'll be back in just a moment. After we've come all the way to the end of round 11, you're going to single crochet around the whole sweater. So now that we have um, single crocheted around the sweater, all you have to do is just weave in your ends at the bottom. And now we are going to be moving on to uh, the armholes around the arms. I have already completed the left side of the dog sweater and now we are moving on to the right sleeve on this side of the sweater. So what you want to do is start in this corner right here where this double crochet is. And then I like to weave through a piece of yarn. And then you're going to tie a little knot. You could join however you want to. You are going to chain up three, one, two, and three. You will then put 
30 double crochets all the way around until you meet back to about right here on this side. So work all the way around evenly 30 double crochets. When you come to the end and you have 30 double crochets all the way around, you will slip stitch to the top of the chain 3. You will then chain up 3 and this is going to count as your back post double crochet and into the next stitch you'll work a front post double crochet then after into that next stitch you will put a back post double crochet into the next stitch after you'll work a front post double crochet you will then work a back post double crochet so you're going to alternate that all the way around and then slip stitch to the top of the chain three and then go to the next round but you're going to continue this all the way into the end of round five and as soon as I come to the end of round five repeating the same round here I will come back and we will finish the rest of the um, arm sleeve when you have come to the end of round five you are then just going to chain one and you can either crochet into the space right here with the single crochet or what you can go ahead and do is do what I'm going to do and single crochet into that chain space and then put a single crochet into the next stitch and then put a single crochet all the way around and you will have 30 single crochets all the way around for round six and if you guys can hear my fan I apologize it's really hot in California today and um, I am over here crocheting and it's super hot in the room and I really wanted to get this video out to you guys so bear with me if you guys hear the fan but you guys get it um, all you're going to do is just complete this all the way around putting one single crochet and as soon as you come to the last um, stitch right here, you're just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and then finish off your work and then tuck it in. And there we have it guys. There is our large to extra large size dog sweater. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe for more future videos.